Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. Um, today is the 5th of March 2024. It's 2.54 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to do a trade recap here on my trades on, on ES. So um, <clears throat> let's start off with, um, I know there's a lot on the chart and stuff like that. So let me just break down what's going on here. So yesterday we had this top out here. We made a high of 51.57.75, right? And then we started selling into the close. Right, so we had that big selling going into the close, and when we open in the ETH, right, we opened around. Let's see here. So we open in the ETH at fifty-one thirty-three seventy-five. Right, so we fell from. We fell from 51.57.75 and we opened in the ETH at 51.33.75, right? So let's just take a look at some of these levels here. I know there's a lot on the chart, man, and I know people get a little a little confused by what they see. Um, let's see here. So this is Camarilla R4. Is also lined up with the market profile value area high, which is so Camarilla R4 is at 51.45, and Camarilla R3 is at 51.45.25 roughly, right? <clears throat> so with that, we have uh, we created a Camar well Camarilla S3 has moved up, Camarilla R3 has moved down. Right, so we created an inside value day where Camarilla S3 is at 51.31.17 now for the day, and Camarilla R3 is at 51.45.30. Right, well, roughly 25 because it moves in, in 25s anyway. So we have this inside value day, right? Then we have the, the market profile pop at 51.41.25. And we have the market profile value area low at 51.37.25. Now you can see I marked this here. This is overnight low. Let me just see if I can make this a little bigger. So we're coming down closer into, into price action. So we got our levels. We know it's an inside value day on the Camarillas. Let me just see some real quick here. When we look at the central pivots, um, nothing to really talk about there. So just leave that out for clarity. Right, so we created this overnight high at 51.35.50. Right, right there. That's the overnight high, which was basically just at the open. We had that pop up at the open. And then we proceeded to lose Camarilla S3. Now, when Camarilla, when the Camar Camarillas are in the the inside value day relationship, we're looking for something like a inside rotation in between the levels, or we're looking for a breakdown and a trend away from the Camarilla S3 or R3, right? So, during the ETH, we rotated around this level here eventually lost it um let's see at what time i think we lost it permanently at 2320 which is 1120 um eastern time in the eth right so going into the night right this is at one o'clock where my vwap kind of um, resets so we have these resetted vwaps here and moving into the night, one o'clock, right? This is approaching the um, the London Open and stuff like that. <clears throat> so we get this retest here, back to above to like fifty-one twenty-nine twenty-five. Still not getting to Camarilla S3, right? Plus, this is the the third upper deviation band, creating that resistance right there of the VWAP, third upper deviation of the VWAP, right? So 
moving into the ETH. This is what I'm looking at in the morning, right? So when I wake up, I'm looking at the ETH, how it's moving. I can see now, let's open this up a little bit. I can see now that we're starting to lose Camarilla S4, right? So Camarilla S4 is at 512409, right? That's that green line right there. And we started to really lose that at a wrong, let's see here, what time was this? Let's say around 3.42 in the morning, right, Eastern time. So as you can see, we rotated down, we created a low there of 51.17.75, and we came back up, tested this um, level here again at 51. Sorry, one second. Right, so we tested this level here again. Well, kind of really tested this um, upper deviation band, the first upper deviation band on the VWAP, right? So that's that red line right there. Got the rejection off of that at around 51, 27, 25, or 20, um, 50. Let's see exactly what that was. Let's see, the high was 51, 27, 25, right? Got that nice reversal pattern, got like a triple triple top right there. And this is around what time? 7.27 in the morning, right? So we're approaching, we're starting to approach the open. We got this test up here at VWAP. We're losing Camarilla S4 again at 51.24, right? We break down here at um, 7.49, got the retest of VWAP. Right, so we tested this um, second lower deviation band, got the reversal, came back up here, tested Camarilla S4 again, testing VWAP, lost VWAP, and started pushing down again. So we're pushing down into the into the RTH open, right? So we have this this um, sellers are definitely in control, and we're moving down into the open here. So now we're starting to ride right below this um, first lower deviation band on the VWAP, right? We came back and we tested it here at, let's see, what time is that? At 9.30, so at the open here, this is where the action started, right? So let's see here. Right, so at the open, 9.30, moving into the open, we had this reversal kind of pattern forming, right? Now, <clears throat> if you're a bullish trader, I can definitely see bulls taking this here because it's the second lower deviation band on the VWAP. We're getting buyers, and we could we could possibly get the reversal from here and just continue higher, right? Straight back up to Camarilla S4. But when you're when when you're looking at like or when you're trading certain pivot levels or like Camarilla pivots, right? When you open below Camarilla S4, everything that's underneath Camarilla S4 as a rejection is a sell, right? So whether you come back to to Camarilla S4 itself, you could sell right there. If you come back to this this VWAP line, the second um this first lower deviation and you get the rejection here, that's a sell, right? Now, this is where I took my trade. I didn't really sell at the open. Well, I did, but um, it's not showing up here. So this was my trade here, let's see. So I took my first sell at 51.13.75 and stopped out here at, um, let's see, let's open this up. And yeah, let's open this up. Um, right, and took a stop out here when it pushed back up, right? So took the first sell on this doji candle. It popped back up on me. Um, it was showing that it was popping up again. So we had this um, higher low, right? So that's the higher low. When it pushed back up on me, I stopped out at 51.20.75, right? So you can see that there, 51.20.75, sell at 51.13.75. Now, 
didn't really give up on the trade because I know what I'm working with. We almost came up to Camarilla S4. I'm looking for any breakdown now of VWAP, right? So got the VWAP breakdown, 51.16 short, 51.15.25 short, right? That's on that breakdown right there of VWAP. That's the white line. And took the breakdown now of overnight low, which was 15.13.75, right? So we got that. Came back down here to first lower deviation, broke that, came back, retested it. And now we're approaching market, uh, market profile value area, value area high on the weekly, right? That's at 5101.25. So that was like my first target. Let's see here. Let's start moving down. Right. So I'm looking to see what price is going to do at this level, right? So we broke down, got the wick, had the indecision. See, no buyers are coming in here, right? So we had the buying wick, had the indecision, no follow through, right? This should have just created a, um, like a, um, like a enveloping kind of candle, right? Didn't do that. So no buyers are really there. Indecision, selling pressure is still there. Came back down here, had the selling. This is when we got the enveloping candle right here, right? Now that came back, we tested the value area high, which I was expecting. And then we created this kind of doji candle right there. So I know, well, okay, this trade is still safe, right? On the sell side, got the follow through. Notice we're not coming back to even test this um, first lower deviation. We're starting to ride the, the second lower deviation, getting the little pullbacks. We tested this high right here of the sell candle. So we came back and tested the sellers, got the response. Sellers are still there. Had this um, small little pullback, sellers again. And at this point here is where I stopped out. And I stopped out because um, it was looking like it was flattening out, right? So compared to this kind of cascading or stair-stepping kind of move, right? From this point here, we started to move sideways, right? Notice we didn't really break down this low right here. We got buyers right there. Indecision, more buying. So I decided to stop out here at 54.94.75, right? So again, let me just make that clearer. We had, we had that kind of stoppage right here, kind of indecision candle. Buyers came back in, buyers, sellers responded, did not push below this low. Then we had that indecision again, then buyers came in strong again. Now, I'm not going to wait for a second candle of buyers to step back in. I'm going to take my profit right here. So that's when I took my first profit, right? So that's the first trade. Right, so now moving forward. We came back, we retested just below first um, lower deviation here. Got the sellers. Sellers are still here. They broke the lows, right? Had the buying response, buyers coming back up, not that strong in certain candles, indecision, indecision, buyers, buyers, sellers coming, stepping into play as we get to this um, first lower deviation. Buyers again, indecision, indecision, selling, I jumped in at 50.93.50. Came back up, we tested just above, big selling, came back up. Stopped out at 50.96, right? So took a loss on that as we, we push back above, right? So notice we're starting to move sideways, right? In the price action, selling is kind of drying up, right? So looking at this here, we pull back up to this level, right? Still below our market profile, value area high. So I took the breakdown here of this first lower deviation band on the VWAP. 
sell at 50, 90, 75, right? Let's see here. So took a stop out on this as well. We came back, came back, we tested VWAP, um, lower v, the first lower deviation on the VWAP. I got to find a, uh, an abbreviation for that man. So came back here, was trying to hold it, had the indecision, still holding it to see if it would break down. I kind of held this one a little too long, but um, still just came back up, stopped me out, right? So I stopped out in like a small profit there because the sell was 50, 90, 75, stopped out at 50, 92, 75, and um, I think I took a buy entry here at 50, 93. So let's see here. And eventually sold that at 50, 92.50, right? Because the buy wasn't really going anywhere. And the reason I took the buy is because we started to move sideways. So I was looking to see if we get that reversal, right? After the stop out above this lower um, deviation here. So let's see here. Um, took the stop out. Sold here at 50.92. Took another stop out here at 50.95. So we're starting to rotate. I'm getting chopped up a little bit. Took a buy here at 50.95. I think that was a stop out from the sell. Yeah, so this 50.95.25 took a stop out here when we pull back. So that was kind of like a break even short. All right, so moving down. Breaking lower deviation again, jumped in at 50.83 and wrote that down to because this was one of my first one of my first targets I was looking at this weekly POC area here at 50.77.50, right? And as you can see, price bounced out, bounced off of that level and around that level a little bit. Buyers were trying to step in right there. They weren't they weren't strong enough. And we got down to value area low, right? Which was 50, 71, 71, 50, right? So that's weekly value area low. So when it came down there, I front run at that at 50, 73, 25 to, to get that 20, um, that 10 points. And as you can see at value area low, buyers are starting to step in to try and create that, um, that reversal, right? So, Right now, what it's like, we got like approximately 48 minutes to go. So buyers might take this back up to the, the POC level. Or we might get a, we actually did get a retest of the monthly value area high, right? So all of this was really for buyers to, to get better prices here at um, monthly value area high at 50.69.75. Right, so you can see we come, we came back down to these levels. So, just to let you guys know why there's a lot of like lines and stuff on my charts, everything is being used for like um, reversal levels, targets, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, um, for the people who don't use anything on their charts, that that's cool. You know what I mean? You're just dealing with price action. But these are things that are very prominent to me and my strategies, like the market profile value area highs and stuff like that. Not only on the daily, but on the monthly and weekly charts, make weekly levels, right? So let me just show you some here. So on the one hour chart is where I have these, um, these weekly levels, right? So this here, is where I found this golden pivot zone, that yellow, right? That's Camarilla S3, weekly Camarilla S3, and that's central pivot, right? That's the weekly central pivot. So you see, after the news came out, and I forgot to mention that at 10 o'clock when the news came out, we retested that exactly, right? Weekly Cam S3, and that's how I got to jump in that short, right? So, on these weekly levels, we came all the way back down to market profile, weekly value area low. And now we're actually losing market profile value area high on the monthly as well. 
So let's see. Let's see what other levels there are. So we have previous week's low, 5060. That's coming up. We have weekly Camarilla S S um S6. That's at um 50 what's 50 55 23. We have weekly S1 50 37 75. So all of these are little targets that that I could kind of gauge where I would want to take profit or a partial or something like that, right? So this is another Wyckoff level here that I have. It's um, buying Climax on a monthly. So this is another potential target as well to look for buyers. And this here is the monthly, the POC level, right? So all of these things have significance, but if you if you have a, a clean chart, you know, good good for you, man, you know what I'm saying? But I have all these things here where is different market participants kind of use these levels for um, for trade. So I want to see what they're doing at these levels so I can execute certain strategies, you know what I'm saying? All right, yo, so it's Malak Shalomo. That was my trade recap. I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Actually, I might be trading tomorrow. Got some stuff to do. All right, y'all. Trade safe and stay blessed.